way to the train station and we are now locked and loaded. I've got a pair of shorts on now. We both have. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we both changed into shorts. And I've put my hair up in a nice little man bun. So, get some stick for that in the comments. <laughs> but I needed to, <laughs> keeping that up in oh, this heat. Look at that now, now that we're in the daylight. Ah, let's go and get a closer look, yeah. I haven't had a time to work out how to reverse my camera because, uh, because yeah, it was on charge in the hotel room. I managed to double how much was left and I've sent all of the train tickets and stuff to uh, to Tam. But that's where we need to be. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's uh, Krak Krakow uh, Grovny, which is uh, central Krakow, yeah, central Krakow station. So, um, I'll uh, cut in Tam's, way, cut in Tam's way. And we'll go and have a closer look at uh, Krakow station. So we're heading off to Osvienchim now. We've got about 45 minutes until the train's there, but we want to want to see where things are at um, and uh, We've got about 25 minutes 25 minutes? Oh, I thought we had more than that no. Okay yeah, how we get in? That's the question, yeah, we don't actually know how to get into the train station either So, uh, yeah Studio Fotografenseni Station and a studio and then what's say? Railway station, this way. Awesome. That's the good thing. So a lot of signs are written in English as well, which is fortunate because... There's a shopping centre here, isn't there? Yeah. Krakow Galleria. That might be, not just a... Nice big building there. We just thought it was an art gallery. Yeah. It might be. <laughs> But yeah, we happen to be staying in quite a nice location, actually. We don't usually. <laughs> we usually slum it. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Railway station over here still. So yeah, the challenge we're going to have is finding out what, um, what platform. Because our train station doesn't tell us that. Platforms one to five. And there's a bus station as well. So yeah, we'll have to, that's the part we're going to have to try and figure out. But then we'll just find a find some uh, find a board that should tell us the times and departures and stuff like that. Hopefully. Okay. It's actually cooled down quite a bit now, okay. which is nice. Um. So, if you can see that there, it says uh, Krakow Głowny which means uh, Central Krakow or Krakow Central or the Central Krakow Station Krakowa Yeah, nice little station So yeah, it's uh We're like twenty minutes for the train. We've got twenty minutes <laughs> and we've we got to go. We don't know where to go. We should have left at one o'clock. <laughs> yeah, we should have I thought we had forty five minutes. No, our train is at quarter to two. Quarter to two, of course it is. We just uh we just have to see Krakow Grovny. Grovny. Here we go. So yeah, I think this is the, not the way to Amarillo, but that's the central station entrance just here, Krakow Govni. It's really annoying because you guys, I don't know how much you can see, but yeah, Krakow Govni. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way, people, but yeah, this is the railway station. So, we'll look on the board and hope that, hope that there's enough understanding 
to be able to find what we're looking for. But yeah, it's cooled down quite a bit. It's uh, not as hot as it was. Ah, right, here we go, it's the entry. 1344, which is the one we need. Platform three, I believe. We've got a departures thing over here. Let's have a look. Yeah, departures. It's the inch in the platform. Yeah, platform three. Oh, cool. That's lucky. So there you go. If ever you're at the station and you want to know where things are, obviously it's going to be backwards for you guys, but uh, on the third row there, that's Osvienchim, and we're on platform three. So let's rock. Let's go and find platform three. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Well, so we had a choice of doing this with a tour guide, and we didn't want to use a tour guide because that's boring. Tour guides mean you're with all the other tourists, doing the touristy stuff. We wanted to get the train ourselves. Do it our way, in our own time. So we decided to go tour guideless. And uh, we're going to explore um, Otsienshin and the area. We're gonna go and explore that in a uh, more, you know, authentic fashion I guess you could say you know so platform platform three here we go okay you get some lifts okay I'm surprised you can't walk to it hmm. I have to go and find I don't have to find, I don't really want to get a, I don't want to get a, I uh, want to get a, like a, I want to walk down there. Is there a way to do that? Doesn't seem to be, does there? Notice elevator's out of order, okay. The 25, how long we got now, love? 15 minutes. I think we should make it. We should be okay. <laughs> Maybe down here. Oh, strip us <laughs> uh, I think you go. Where does this go? Yes. <laughs> We're getting there, people. Yeah, I try not to touch metal poles because. Uh, they are, I don't know why, but I emit a huge deal of static electricity, which is weird. Maybe I rub my feet across the floor when I walk, more than likely. So that's platform five. Platform four. Platform. Three. So yeah, if I'm platform three, you don't have to get the lift, which is nice. Because I'm quite scared of the lifts. Yeah, the lifts are out of order. So here we go. Platform three. What's that? Oh, interesting. Okay, good, good, good spot. <laughs> So to get to platform three, you have to go up a lift. Uh, escalator, lift. Platform three. Wow, this is so strange. The lifts are opposite. So we're going up this way. <laughs> we usually go on the opposite side to go up. Very weird. That's cool, bike. Here we go. We've made it, so platform three. We've done it. Now we just need to find Osvienchim. Doesn't yet say anything on the uh, on the platform. 
all those different sectors. There we go. So yeah, very lucky because the Polish very kindly translate things into English. So respect my Polish brothers and sisters. 1335. Oh, the change? Yeah. What's the So the fourth, the third one down there? No, no, it's look, 1344. Look. Oh, okay. Platform three. Yeah, but which side? I don't know, this is platform three. Uh, platform from, so the operator will be KMW. KMW. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's where we need to be basically. So I'm assuming this is uh, the correct platform. Um, but there's no signs, uh, so yeah. Oh, they're both platform three. Yeah. Well, it would say it was three inch on it. I really hope that's how you pronounce it because obviously, yeah. if I'm not pronouncing it. You've got a rival. Ah, yes. Head on. Right. I can't say three. We'll work it out. If we see a train that says Osvienshim and what is it, SKA3. This is the cool thing about traveling. Like, so we could have, we could have quite easily gone and got a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a tour guide. And, uh, that's, that's going to, but that's going. <laughs> I mean, just passing through, but we could have quite easily got a. Um... That's for the airport, yeah. 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 Well, you can get this train to the airport, yeah, but the airport stops running at a certain time. But yeah, as I was saying, so we could have done it easily. Like we we could have put we could have bought a tour guide, right? Oh, we've got to go with a tour. And a tour would have been 25 pounds each. So 50, 50 quid. I don't know what that is in Zvoti. We'll have to look that up. But it could have, it would have been about 25 and um, each. And this, this train cost us 60 Zvoti, which is about 11, 12 quid. So we paid 12 quid uh, for both of us, there and back. And Auschwitz, the um, the entrance is free. You can get in for free. So um, we haven't paid 50 quid. We paid 12 quid. Now that's not smacking on anyone who does tour, but tours and stuff like that. You know, some people they got, they got to make their bread and butter. And I wouldn't dissuade people. Obviously, I'm the kind of person that likes to do things a little bit more kind of awkwardly. I guess you could say. Uh, I like to travel with the locals on the local transport. I like to make life a bit more difficult, basically. I like to try and rely on my Polish a little bit more than your average Joe. And I like to, uh, I like to experience the authentic version of, of, a, of a travel. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait now for our train to arrive. And then, once it's arrived, we'll get on and we will document our journey. So, back to shortly. No. Uh, that's priority seating, I believe. Um, Shep Hashem. <laughs> Oh, we'll just sit there. Why not? Yeah, just sit here, No, 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 because then we've got a share, haven't we? I'd rather not, because uh, the language barrier may, may get too much. <laughs> Hopefully it's not first class as well, because if there is, that's going to really complicate things. Here we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. So we've triple checked and that's where we are and that's where we're going to end up and it'll be there at about what seven past three yeah so that's not too bad nice train station as well uh, nice train as well really really nice yeah awesome so yeah looking forward to seeing the countryside as well of poland uh, as we're as we're going through so yeah excited
So there's the beautiful countryside of, uh, of Poland as we travel on the train. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. Yeah, I was. This is the part I was really looking forward to. Actually, was uh, seeing oh, seeing a big sign like there, just seeing a big <laughs> just just the wall. <laughs> Here we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> previously cut off my view so basically uh, we have to what we need to do we spoke to the lady uh, who was doing the tickets and she explained that we need to get off this train onto a bus and then we need to get the bus from um, wherever it is I can't remember what the place is called now but I know the rough time that it is and we follow her and we'll get on the bus to Austrian Chim so uh, yeah that'll be quite interesting look it's happening again with Middle Great blocking my lovely view <laughs> Yeah, okay, so as I mentioned, uh, we've got a slight detour where we have to get on a, a pre pre assigned bus to Oswiencim. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, just gonna find our way there now. I think I just saw the bus actually, but who knows? We probably, probably ended up going into the wrong place. <laughs> no, no, look, but yeah. That, I'm getting less of a tad and more of a more of a nice red hue. Oh, it's warm, isn't it? It's a bit toasty. It's warm again. Okay. So yeah, I ain't got my my usual selfie stick that I use. Okay, there's the bus there. So I think you're going to need to show me your ticket, Sam. Yeah. Maybe. Over here, this will do. Oh, wow, they are cactus. Oh, that's the engine. Oh, here we go. Jim Dublin. Right, should we sit here? Try and duck. <laughs> there we go. So on the bus. And uh, yeah. well, we've got on. We're in the right place. I hope. Now we are. I've just checked the bus. So yeah, just gonna wait to get there. Finish off this trip, and yeah, hopefully it goes nice and smoothly. Yes, yeah, so I believe we're in a town called. Lib the Biatch? The Biatch? The Biatch? I'm not sure. It's quite a rural place. It's uh, probably, uh, I'm assuming, a village. But yeah, look at that. The sun's shining down. It's a beautiful hot day. What's the kind of temperature about? <laughs> 27 degrees in Krakow. So yeah, we're just uh, just waiting now really. Um, I don't know if they check our tickets here or whatever, but yeah. We're just, uh, we're just like, okay, is this the same situation home? Have we got to get on a bus home or is it same train station as before? Probably why it's a good idea to arrive slightly earlier um, <laughs> than planned, but uh, we're on route and uh, we're, we're looking forward to, to starting the, uh, the next leg of this journey. Ah, here we go, we're moving. We are moving people. So let's get a closer look of where we're at in uh, Libyad, or Libyans, or Libyach. <laughs> I can't pronounce, I'm sorry guys. Okay. So yeah. Nice, uh, nice little, uh, I guess it's countryside. Sure, more of a village kind of place. Yeah, some uh, old buildings here. So yeah, a lot more rural than Krakow, which is good. This is what I wanted. I wanted to experience some rural, rural city life as well. As I say, we'd like to go off the beaten trail a little bit. We wasn't expecting to go this off the beaten trail, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're. Uh, we're all up for an adventure, me and me and Tammy. I mean, look at this. Look, this is awesome. This is 
this is we're in we're, we're, we're riding on a bus in the Polish countryside more or less or a Polish village going to learn some very important history um, and that's what it's all about man that's that's what an adventure is you know if you, you can you can go and you can go and pay to do the touristy stuff but that's it's boring it's not worth it go and do this kind of stuff man this is what it's all about you know what I mean on a bus run some in some random village you know and it's a beautiful village by the way if you live here or if you've ever lived here um, very very rural very green which is nice where we live in Peterborough isn't green or rural at all um, <laughs> but there's parts of it I guess that are but not as, not as nice as this this is what it's all about I'd imagine my Polish here would come in useful uh, in handy because uh, people tend to speak less English in the more village areas because obviously there's probably a need to in the uh, in the in the local places uh, in, sorry in the uh, big towns um, for the tourists and stuff but out here there's probably not as much of a need to so naturally you know it's kind of what happened we went to a place called um, Masticari in Kos and we also went to a place called Ant Antimachia and you may if you've been to Kos before you may recognize Antimachia because that's where oh, Ant Antimachia I think it's called it's where the um, airport is and we stayed in Antimachia and um, yeah it was very rural not many people spoke English um, but that was awesome that was fun so we got to use a lot of Greek and then when we went to Hungary we stayed in the place called Vichis Vichis I think it was called um, and that was that was pretty cool oh, I just lost hearing that's better my hair just got blocked then change of pressure um, wow look at that's pretty isn't it nice um, but yeah you know this is what it's all about really it's about these kind of journeys you know traveling about traveling with the locals I mean, there's a few tourists on this bus but I can, can't hear many tourists so uh, I think we're one of very few and I think a lot of people would probably be on a big tour, uh, tour guide right now with random people but nah not for me not for me that's not how we do things as a town we don't do the tour, the touristy stuff we do it this way and this is what I'd recommend if you want the true the true feeling of a place is to, is to get get down and get, get with the locals and try and speak the lingo and try and get involved uh, you know I've had more than enough opportunities to use Polish and uh, even Tammy actually, I think Tammy said hello to somebody, I wasn't there, I was I was just walked by, I heard someone say um, Dzień dobry, which is obviously a good, good day and um, yeah she responded back and she responded so well that, oh look at that, that's pretty, she responded so well that I assume that she was, uh, she was, you know, somebody else, I thought she was, you know, or she was a national, so she pronounced it very well. I was very impressed, but, um, but yeah, no, so far so good. Um, train journeys are a little bit daunting, especially if you don't speak the language very well. Um, you don't really know how to communicate with people and stuff, but that's not been a problem. Everyone's been very friendly and helpful. Uh, thankfully, Tammy was looking very carefully at the uh, at the stops and she knew which one we needed to be at. Um, but yeah, this is our, our kind of stopover bus. Wow, look at that. I don't know if you can see this people. <laughs> Big tree in the way. Got some mountains off in the distance there, look. Beautiful. We was thinking about going to Zakapana. Zakapana? Zakapana? Zakapana. Uh, but we didn't, because of our holiday being cut short by the uh, issues with the um, with the flights, we wouldn't have got a chance to anyway. But yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's continue this journey as we plan to start it, or finish it. Okay, so we've just arrived in the city or the town of Osvienchin, I believe is how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, very pretty. Um, we have to be at the, uh, I mean, there's a, there's a bus you can get there. Will that be in four minutes? No, there's one for, in four minutes. Uh, so we could buy a ticket and just get the bus, but I don't know man, we could just walk there, it's only like, we, we've still got like an hour until we need to be there, because it's a four. So we could always go and try and grab some food or something as well. Yeah, let's have a closer look at Austrian Chim. So that goes to Krakow Glovny, Glovny. Oh, that'd be our best part of the bus back there, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Well, we can go and check maybe in here. Yeah. See if uh, anybody speaks English to explain or help. Yeah. Obviously, don't film what we're going No, no, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a fresh food station here. We do shakakanka, which is nice, but we've already had shakakanka. I'll have to go and find someone to ask. So we're going to go and ask and see if we have to do the same thing home. So we'll go and find out and let you know. Well, typically the information centre is closed, so we're no closer to knowing what the situation will be when we finish the tour. But me and Tammy have kind of agreed that we will uh, come back a little bit earlier than planned just to just to make sure we're on the right track because we're getting conflicting ideas. Like we thought it was platform three at first um, and then we thought it was a bus. Like, you know, <laughs> there's different versions. So, we're gonna just see how it goes. You know, adventures are about taking risks sometimes, but Tom's got the maps fired up. And when we were in uh, Prague last time, she got us stranded over in uh, in Prague. <laughs> I got drunk and relied upon her to get me home. But she's certainly come a long way since then. She's the primary navigator these days. You did get us to the castle in Prague, you did. You did redeem yourself. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, walking around Osvientium now. Seems nice. It's uh, more rural than Krakow, which is good, man. This is what we wanted to experience. Something a little bit more. It's very hot, isn't it? Yeah, taking my hair down now, as you can probably tell. It's not as hot as it was earlier, so that's good. Maybe it's because I'm wearing, I'm not wearing jeans. That'd be a good start. But um, I'll preface this by saying that um, I ain't going to record inside Auschwitz because for me, I just don't think that's personally something I want to do. I know many YouTubers do do that, and that's completely fine, obviously it's uh, preference. But for me, uh, Auschwitz, you should come here yourself and, and learn about the history here if you're interested in it. Um, I'll read about it, but I don't know, I just... I feel if I vlogged it, it wouldn't be a maybe maybe wouldn't be appropriate. Just from my perspective, I'm not disrespecting anybody who has vlogged it. We all have different outlooks and opinions on these things. Um, it's just my view that some things are best left unvlogged, <laughs> and uh, a, a museum with such history and uh, a place of such pain and hurt shouldn't be a place where a vlog should happen. So I don't want to absorb it. I want to absorb the whole history there. And I want to be able to, you know, understand what happened. And w without thinking about this camera, without thinking about what I'm recording, I want to be there in the moment. I would encourage anyone to do the same. As I've said before, you know, if you want to go somewhere and do something, save, save, save. If you're in a position where you can't, then, you know, I appreciate that I've been there as well, man. I have, I've been flat out broke. Um, but things do get better. And if you believe in yourself and you, you, know, you work hard and you, you try your best, you can get yourself out of any situation. I truly believe that. We've got to cross the road. I'm going to be the tour guide for this point, so I'm going to have to go and find out if we're going in the right direction. So uh, I will take over the travel duties from here. But yeah, I think we do. We do have to take. I think we have to cross down here. This way or this way? This one, I think. This I'm one? Not, I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Well, I'll break from here and I'll do one last Maybe. one last thing. Perhaps if we find some food, I might grab some food because we've got like an hour first. But I see a turn in there. I think, yeah, I think we've got to walk down here. Okay, yep. Yeah. I do remember seeing us on Google Maps. So we've got to cross here. There we go. There. Beautiful. All right, well, I've got to look, look out for my camera battery now, so I'm going to have to stop vlogging for a bit, but I'll catch you guys shortly with a few updates. Okay, people, so this will be one of the last videos I do. We're here 
we've made it to the Memorial Museum. It's crazy. This is uh, on Tammy's bucket list and uh, it's absolutely heaving. Look at that, buses full of people just rolling through. So uh, we've got about 45 minutes until we need to be in there. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully find something to eat or drink. And uh, yeah, there you go, look. Okay, so we got on the train and we are leaving Mosley and Chim on our way to Krakow Glovny, Krakow Central. And very luckily, I checked because Tam thought that it was a, um, a coach taking us home, which she rightly had the right to think. Um, but I just wasn't sure, man. I just wasn't getting that energy. So I double checked and um, it turns out that um, it was a train, we're on it, we're on the way home. We've survived being stranded in Osvienchim without anywhere to stay. So I'd say it's a bit of a, a result. Um, and now, yeah, we're just gonna finish this journey and go and chill in the hotel room and yeah, kick back, charge our phones and have some water because I'm so thirsty. And then maybe go and get some food afterwards.